Hello everyone, this is Lloyd Finnicum, One Cowboy Stand for Freedom. You know, it's time I give you an update of what's going on. It's been a while since I made another video, and I promise you I kind of keep you posted. Well, I've gotten several more letters from the BLM. Um, my fines have gone from 1,400 to now they've tacked on almost another 5,000, and they're saying, Mr. Finnicum, you need to get your tail off of here and get your cows off. Well, as you know, I'm not taking my cows off. I'm not getting my tail off of my ranch here. Um, and I want you to know what's going on here. Um, I'm here at my cow camp, my winter cow camp, um, here at my crails, and I want to show you what, uh, what I find here. Okay, this is the road right by my, by my place, and uh, you know, this could be, just be a coincidence, but dang, I, I just don't like coincidence anymore at this point in my life. And here it is, take a look at this. Just saw the BLM guy parked here, and I stopped, see what's going on, and this is what's going on. And, Wanted to talk with him. He says he wasn't interested in talking to me and went on down the road. Maybe he'll come swinging back by, but uh, maybe we'll take the other way out. But this is what he's got going here. Yeah. Now listen, I'm not going to damage anything. I'm not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to leave this just as good as I found it. So and I don't want any belts coming around and damaging it and hurting things. This is, this is their property. I, as much as I disagree with them, I don't believe in damaging property, okay? All right, here it is. Just so happen to have this by my, my camp, my corrals. Open it up here. That's a pretty nice, sophisticated piece of equipment. I'm not techie at all, but man, advanced counting system you can take care of Cars, uh, people walking with backpacks, uh, bicycles, somebody on a four-wheeler, and, and it'll take care of bucks, too. And so, I uh, don't know if it'll take care of does, but it'll take care of bucks. And, uh, man, if we get some snow, it'll take care of somebody running up and down the road on a, on a snowmobile. Again, this could just be a coincidence, but, man, I sure hate you putting this right here by my camp. And uh, why wouldn't you talk with me? Why wouldn't you explain what you got going here and why you put it right here? You just drive off, and that's okay. I was being friendly. I wasn't being ignorant or disrespectful. I don't believe in being that way. I can disagree with somebody. I don't need to call them names, and I don't need to be disrespectful. I don't believe in that, and I don't believe in destroying things. So there it is. It's back the way I found it. Well, this fight I'm making, America. It's not about cows and it's not about grass. It's about the freedom of our land. This grazing right is my personal property right. I own it. And once they get me off here, if they get me off here and they take these grazing rights from me, hunters, you'll be next. They've already taken the mineral rights off this very land, off this very ranch. They've already seized it and taken it with the stroke of a pen. It's theirs, can't touch it. And if you think that they want you to have a gun, let alone hunt, you're, you're mistaken where this, this government's going. They don't appreciate you coming out here hunting and camping without their permission. That's, that's not where things are going. Right up the road here, they just stuck up another little blue sign. They say, okay, Kelly Point, it's closed. We're closing it off. Certain times of year, it's closed off. Well. Now you go up on the Kayabab, they're closing the roads off there. Um, they, you think you're going to keep getting access out here to hunt and camp? You're not. They're going to keep squeezing and keep closing it. They just made the, you know, the Parashant Monument. I'm on half the Parashant Monument. Um, and now they're trying to make the Grand Canyon Monument. What are they, what's that all about? They say, oh, we're not changing anything. Well, then why make a monument? Why change it if you're not changing anything? Well, I don't believe them. I don't trust them. Um, so where's it going? Um, we already have. I've been contacted by my state representatives down in uh, Phoenix. Went in and visited with them at their request and their invitation. And I've talked with uh, other county commissioners down in the central part of our state. And let me tell you what I was told. It says that our county sheriffs are already having nose-to-nose -nose confrontations with the federal fish and game officers. What the heck are we having federal fish and game officers running around here for? Fish and game, 
Hunting is regulated by the state. That's the proper way it should be done. Now we got federal fish and game officers running around here. You know what that state representative told me that that confrontation was? Those fish and game officers were shutting down the roads, locking them off, putting um, locks and padlocks on them. And then those, those sheriffs were going up and cutting them off. And they had nose to nose confrontations. You need to wake up. You need to see what's coming. But uh, I'm not happy with this. But uh, this is beautiful land. It's a place for, for freedom. Freedom's worth fighting for. This land's worth fighting for. Our founding fathers never envisioned a central power holding so much control over one third of the land mass. You know, over 80% of this county here is controlled by the BLM with complete legislative executive powers whatsoever. Well, no, it's not. I'm saying no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bow down anymore. This is Arizona, this is Mojave County. And, uh, and so, here I am. Uh, I'm not leaving, and uh, I want to put a thank you out to all the hundreds of people who have contacted me um, through the last little while, just hundreds, and you've been gracious, you've been kind, and I appreciate it. And you've been saying, Mr. Finnicum, what can I do to help? Um, you know, I'll come if you need to, need to come. I have a couple of security specialist um, teams here that are just helping to keep safe with their with their teams and and they're able to to help organize and we want to come out and take a look at the ranch it's beautiful out here i want to stop this is america we're neighbors we're friends and um and so i want to extend that invitation to you um, one other thing i wanted to say but it kind of slipped my mind you know, i'm i'm just a normal old, old guy out here oh i know what it was i know what it was um you need to listen what's happening federal government, BLM. I'm not the only one standing. I've got now a half a dozen ranchers that say they'll come and stand with me, stand behind me, stand beside me. And uh, guess what? You know what Bundy did and who stands and who doesn't stand with him. Now there's a rancher up here in Utah and he's got more ranchers and stuff standing by him than me and Bundy combined. He's, this guy's a, he's, this guy's a tough character and he's, he's making things happen. So BLM, this stuff isn't going away. And guess what? We now got a rancher in Texas standing up, defying you. And you got a governor in Texas standing behind him. And so we aren't just a bunch of, uh, you know, want to be anarchist and we don't, saying we don't believe in government, want to down, take down government. Contrary, I believe in government. I believe in the federal government. We need the federal government, but in their proper place. They need to be controlled by the confines of the law. Right now, they are the anarchists, running beyond all their banks. But we need them. We need them to protect our borders, to keep commerce regular, and to keep our country safe. And just a few other things, very identified in the Constitution. But they have, have a usurped power and authority everywhere. And this is just one place I can stand. Now there's ranchers standing in Utah, ranchers in Nevada, ranchers in, in Texas that are starting to stand up and saying, no, we will not comply. And so, uh, Mr. Obama... President Obama, what you gonna do about it? Mr. Uh, Neil Cornsey, head of Bureau of the uh, Department of Interior. You know, I know this stuff's coming and hitting your desk because those little letters I write to you out there, man, they come back with an FBI agent holding it in hand. So I know you're listening. And uh, Ms. Loretta Lynch, uh, Attorney General, you gonna leave us Americans alone? Or are you gonna start stepping on us more? You're stepping on Americans already. What you did to that Hammond family up in Bend, Oregon, you sent them to jail. And then they served their time, they got out of jail, and you charged them as, as terrorists because they, they were doing a controlled burn, burned 100 acres of what you call your lands of brush. Seven years ago, the land is now more fruitful, more feed on it now because of what they did. You convicted them on a terrorism charge. They served their time, one three months, another one a year, and you come back and say, that's not enough. We need more flesh from these, this good family. And that's what you did. You re-litigated their sentences. Now they've got five more years approximately that they got to serve. That's a good family. America, these are good people that are being hurt and destroyed. That rancher in New Mexico they took out. And the, the ranchers in all other parts of the country that they have taken out, that they're putting pressure on. I know they're putting pressure on one of my neighbors right now over here on the Kayabab. And, uh, you know, these are families, these are our livelihoods, this is our grazing rights, this is our heritage. 
and you want to trample on it, well, give it a try. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. America, I love you. I love you Americans that, that love freedom. And uh, I'll stand here with you or wherever any other American will stand for freedom. Freedom's worth living for. Freedom's worth dying for. And, uh, anyway, this is LaVoy. One Cowboy Stand for Freedom. Have a good day.